Are you breaking your fast with Israeli dates? Did you check the label for Israeli brands? Since 2012, American Muslims for Palestine has been leading a nationwide boycott of dates produced in Israeli settlements. As a result of diligent Palestinian organizing in the U.S., Israeli date imports have dropped dramatically over the years. According to recent data, Israeli date imports have dropped to 2.5 million pounds for the market year 2019 to 2020, in comparison to 6.9 million pounds the year before. But why boycott Israeli dates? Approximately 60% of Israeli dates are grown in illegal settlements in the West Bank. As of 2019, more than 200 Israeli settlements were established in the West Bank, housing over 600,000 settlers. Furthermore, the Israeli date industry in settlements is highly exploitative, not to mention illegal, and therefore must be boycotted. Because of the grueling work that date harvesting requires, Israeli settlers hire Palestinian laborers who are paid low wages. Worse, Israel prefers to employ and exploit children, who will ultimately work for less. The date boycott campaign is not only aimed at settlements in the West Bank, it targets Israel as a whole, an apartheid regime that exists throughout all of historic Palestine. When you boycott these dates, you're taking a stand against Israel's colonization of Palestinian land and the exploitation of Palestinian land and labor. This Ramadan, break your fast with justice. Join our 2021 Israeli date boycott campaign at ampalestine.org dateboycott and learn how you can participate in this international boycott movement for justice.